I'm going to make some cauliflower barbecue wings. And yeah, this is the recipe I'm going to be following today. It is from. Dang, that looks. Good. So this is from this lady here, Claire at eatwithclaire.com. It looks pretty tasty, so we're gonna give it a try. I, I'm actually gonna clean up the kitchen first because it's pretty messy. You know, whatever, quarantine. Guys, do you wash cauliflower when you're getting ready to use it? The answer is yes. Ooh, I bet you thought you, I bet you thought I wasn't gonna wash the cauliflower, huh? Check her, ayo. Hello, hello, she a little too white, come on. There she go. She peeking. We're gonna start with one whole head of cauliflower. Just pick off the leaves from the bottom and cut them up into medium size chunks. Just discard the rest or put it in a little compost box if you got it. I need to get me one of those. I always feel so bad when I throw away veggies. Now moving on to the batter. We're gonna start with one cup of all-purpose flour, a little bit of salt, and hella onion powder. I'm telling you guys, onion powder is the way to go. I didn't have any garlic powder, so I substituted with some garlic roasted herb. I'm just gonna put a whole bunch of that, equal parts, of both onion powder and garlic powder. Mix that up with a whisk. You don't have to be precise as I am here, trying to get exactly one half cup of almond milk, because you will then see I needed more almond milk. And one more thing, for the love of everything good in the world, do not get vanilla almond milk for this recipe. Use unsweetened, original, anything that does not have flavor because it will mess it up in the end, okay? Don't do like me. Well, do like me, but don't do like me right then. So add in some breadcrumbs and then mix that together. Once that is at your desired thickness, just go ahead and throw in your cauliflower and mix it all together until it is evenly coated. You don't want one cauliflower missing coating anywhere. So apparently I just ran out of everything that I needed for this, but anyways, it's fine, we'll make it work. Instead of parchment paper, I'm going to use some olive oil and then just rub it in with this napkin. Whatever, it'll be fine. But hopefully this doesn't burn, I don't know. So nothing happened with me using this. It did kind of stick to the bottom more than I'd like, so definitely use parchment if you have it. But otherwise, we're just gonna spread this onto our baking sheet. Try to keep it separated. I know I kind of overdid it, but definitely just do your best. I think this is what they mean by don't overcrowd the pan. I'm pretty sure this is overcrowded, but it's fine. 25 minutes in the oven. Okay, so while the cauliflower is in the oven, I'm gonna start with the sauce. I just got this regular old barbecue sauce. I'm reading the ingredients, right? Hello. I'm pretty sure this is vegan. Yeah, why wouldn't it be vegan, right? For a little spice. Okay, I feel like when you heat up the barbecue sauce, it makes it a bit thinner and it's easier to coat. Whereas when it's cold, it's pretty thick and it doesn't really stick that well. Dang, I love barbecue sauce. Fun fact, there's this time. Some of y'all are gonna be real grossed out by this. I love barbecue burgers, right? So there's this time in high school, I made the burger. I made the burger, I didn't put anything on it, not seasoning wise, like I didn't put any condiments, like no lettuce, no tomatoes, no cheese, nothing. It was just a burger and bread. <laughs> I put barbecue sauce on top of the burger. I put it underneath the burger, so you have the bun, barbecue sauce, patty, barbecue sauce, and then the top bun, and then get this. I got one of those little injector tubes, filled it up with barbecue sauce, and injected barbecue sauce inside of the burger. Let me tell you, I had the biggest stomach ache after that. 
it was ridiculous. But while I was eating it, I was so happy. I was like, this is delicious. What are some weird, <laughs> some weird stuff that y'all did in the kitchen? Please let me know in the comments below so I'm not <laughs> feeling, you know, so I don't feel weird by myself. This is what the cauliflower wings look like without the sauce on them. I'm about to coat them. I'm just waiting on the sauce to heat up. All right, so I just mixed the wings and the sauce together in this bowl, and there you have it. You got this delicious batch of cauliflower barbecue wings. These ones are really good. The only thing is, I think I would've put them in the oven just a little bit longer because it's kind of soft. I would want it just a bit more crispy, but that's just me. I like crispiness. Or I like crunchiness. So yeah, I'm about to eat these wings and then I'm gonna see y'all for dinner. BRB.